challenge. I know that Kamara Usman called out Jorge Masvidal. Yeah. yeah. Which was funny in the in the interview because it was pretty one sided to be honest. And I think perhaps Kamaru knows that even though Gilbert was probably his hot like stylistically his hardest matchup, Masvidal is gonna make him the most money. Yeah. And I think that's yeah. what it, I think yeah. that's his reasoning behind yeah, it. Yeah, that wants, makes complete sense. He wants that he wants that that pay. Well, it was because the reason why was when we had Masvidal versus uh, Gilbert, Be- uh, sorry, Masvidal versus uh, Usman last year, it was one of the top five uh, highest pay per view. But mm. uh, I think number one was McGregor versus Cowboy. Number two was Usman versus uh, Masvidal, mm. and a rematch would be good to watch because you know Masvidal took that fight in what six days notice. Yeah, he had yeah. a brutal weight cut, and then of course, Master Zoll was talking on uh, Twitter saying, "Oh, six days notice, he broke my nose. Uh, three weeks, I could have take his head. Give me a full training camp, and I'll take his belt." In- interesting reasoning. However, we already know that Kamara Usman actually broke his nose during fight camp. Mm-hmm. Um, Master Zoll never broke his nose in the in the fight. It was already broken to start with, which made. I mean, you can make that argument for Usman too. You know, Usman's, uh, you know, dance partner changed drastically. You know, yeah. he was expecting a, a Gilbert who was going to be a uh, an incredible grappler with noticeable stand-up kickboxing skills. And now Jorge has now stepped in. Completely different, you know, style, or like match-up stylistically. Uh, incredibly good uh, kickboxer, mainly, um, especially when he... Uh, when he just rushes people, it's it's incredible how quick he is to rush and impose his will on people, um, striking wise. And then he's very good defensive wrestling. Yeah. I thought he did really well against Kamaru, yeah. uh, stopping the takedown. So y- you can say that, but Kamaru also had a change of, uh, you know, a very, a very huge change on his own game plan. And he had a broken nose, which is very hard to breathe while yeah. you're trying to do really difficult training. So not I, to mention I would his watch knee as well, you know. And his whenever knees are, his knees are being buggered for a long time. Buggered. But here's the problem now what we're facing with Kamara Usman is we've seen this before, but you get to a point where champions they sort of clear out the division, they've established dominance over the division. That there's kind of what's kind of nothing left for that, not much left for them to do. Like, for example, Gilbert Burns, number two, beat him. Colby Covington, number three, beat him. Wayne Marcelo, number four, beat him. He's Michael Chiesa um, is number five. But I don't see a fight like that happening, one uh, versus five. The uh, jump is too much. Uh, Michael Chiesa or uh, St- uh, Stephen Thompson are out there because we haven't seen that matchup yet. However, I would say Kamaru... When I think of that, I think Thompson is in the correct. He's in the correct division, welterweight. I think that that's that's a perfect division for him, uh, weight wise and, and in terms of his size and reach. Kiesa looks has been making absolute tear through welterweight because yeah. I believe that's his natural weight compared to lightweight. However, like he's big, but Kamaru is huge yeah, for Kamaru welterweight. Is. Kamaru most likely. When he fights at welterweight, he's most likely steps instead of one eighty five. He most likely steps in there around two oh five. Yeah, two ten. Yeah. He's a, he's, he's probably a, um he's probably a sorry no he doesn't come in at one eighty five. He comes in one seventy. He most likely comes in uh, sorry no he wouldn't come in um he's two two ten. But he would he would come fairly close to two hundred pounds one ninety yeah. to two hundred pounds. He's he's between middleweight and light heavyweight yeah. when he fights. Yeah, welterweight. Like, well, imagine what it would be like if he fought middleweight. He but said openly he's not he doesn't going to do, do it. Yeah, he's not going to do that. But I'm just saying, well, imagine what it would be like if he did. But he stated openly that he will never fight as Israel Adesanya, you know. Yeah, he prefers two Nigerian champs than one. And yeah. that, I understand that. Yeah. Although I would say, although Kamaru's got like massive reach advantage and size advantage in welterweight... The jump to middleweight is, is enormous, is massive, especially yeah. when I think Kamari is around, he'd be around six foot. Mm-hmm. Is he six four? I think even if he took that fight, I don't, I, I don't see him bidding, is he? And I think that's another reason why he probably doesn't want to move up. Um, speaking, I mean, of, speaking of Izzy, have you seen his Instagram post lately? He's been looking a bit bigger now. He's looking thick. Yeah. He's looking like John Jones when he was at light heavyweight. He's well, mm. fuck it. Well, I mean, he's not as big as John, tall as John Jones, but he looks thick. He, he's he's getting ready. I reckon we'll be pretty much 
very excited to go when he fights Jan Blachowicz. Yeah, that should weeks. be next month. I mean, he's stacked, and then we like saying, "Oh yeah, UFC two two sixty is stacked," and so am I. And it's like emojis of pancakes. Mm. Yeah, I mean. he, he is looking bigger. I noticed I saw a little bit of his own strength and conditioning, and he was even working out with um, Carlos Olberg and things like that, lifting yeah. weights. And you could you could tell he was putting a, on a bit of weight, but to be honest, I think that's it's still. It's not far out of the reach of his own natural yeah. weight. He's yeah. fought at light heavyweight before, and that's he does cut weight to to middleweight. Yeah, you know he's got a fast metabolism. Fast metabolism. He, it, yeah, at light heavyweight, he'll you know he'll. I feel like he'll shine at light heavyweight as yeah. well. 